All right, we're back. Episode three, Rogue once with Across the Obelisk. We uh, we're on our third run of uh, of this game here. We just passed the portal, um, and we're we're moving on. Where we're gonna try going? I remember going through the town. Uh, change some stuff up. I don't think we invested too much, but it looks like our boy Magnus, I recall, I think we buffed Andrin quite a bit. And then our boy Magnus, we didn't have enough money to get rid of that one bad card of his from that first act. Um, and uh, yeah, we were gonna go get this golden wool. So I think we're gonna, we're just gonna go for that right now and then we'll figure out where we wanna go after that. Let's see. Uh, Obelisk Corruption. Increase the quality... Sorry, I just noticed that this is extreme. Um, oh, that's quite good. Resistance. Shuffle. Hatch. Hatch. Summon Parasite. I don't think... I don't... This is a bit too much for us. We're gonna... We're gonna avoid this. We haven't fought any of the people in this or any of the creatures in this area either, so I'm not quite sure what they're resistant to. Let's see. Okay, so it seems like fire is good against them. Lightning's okay. Holy's okay. Blunt is okay. It just depends. So nothing too crazy here, which is good. Um, but... We don't want to overextend ourselves. They can be poisoned, which is good. So um, let's uh, let's try getting rid of this little bug dude. All right, gotta get back in the swing of things. You know, it's been a couple days, so. Back monster, front monster. Battle plan. Draw two cards, place two. Okay, so this is good for the next round. Uh, what do we want next round? Let's do a barricade to armor our guys up. And then these don't really matter too much. We'll do the one cost just in case we have one mana left over next round. Ooh, I think we just fireball here. Then uh, it's probably not worth shifting scrolls because we only have one mana. So let's just uh, use what we have. They're all really slow, which is very nice. Obviously, Magnus is um, ooh, Holy Ripple or Unholy Storm, both good. I think we'll Holy Ripple here. Uh, Magnus is power slow. Nice. So we killed one in one round. That's awesome. Let's see if we can keep this momentum up. Okay. Speed reduced to zero. Wow. Okay. So they have thorns, they have regeneration, and this one has some armor. Uh, let's. Okay. Okay. I think I'm going to... I have six mana and so much, so let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do this. And then we'll do this and we follow up here for next round. Okay. Woof. Mana jump's always good. Looks like we're trying to get through this front guy, so just keep going on him for a bit. Fungus Root! Okay, so they're doing damage based on how many thorns they have as one of their cards. They can be scary, but I think we're doing okay. Backstab's probably too good not to use, but maybe I do that. that and then we're invisible we're not gonna be able to get through all these the rest of the health this round but slowing one of them down might actually help for next round 
he will be able to go ahead of him. Um, divine Retribution, that's pretty good. If they damage him, it'll pay off. And then we'll just move the blade. Um, I think we're good. We'll save some mana here just in case. Oh, he's got 22 bleed on him though. All right, Wild Hunt, always good. Expert Tracker, ooh. I might do it to Reginald. Shining for that's pretty good. All right, he's got four mana, so I didn't want to keep that two cost if we were going to do that three cost card. Uh, pool. I mean, this guy's going to take 22 damage from bleed, so he doesn't need much. Uh, we would need a little bit more than that, though, so... Oh! Oh, because of regeneration. Alright, let's just get him within the death zone. Alright, and then Shining Force on him. And then we can just finish. Ooh. She's got seven mana. I think we're good. Let's just use Cold Stars first, since it's based on how many cards we have again. And then... This should be a good, simple cleanup. Nice. Not too many unlocks, but we got a decent amount of options here. This, uh, hmm. all monsters. I don't know. I don't want to do too many AOE moves, but I do like them. They, they have a good like Shock Nova, so good too. Three slow. I I have to do Shock Nova. Um, I don't like any of these options. Song of Celerity, all heroes get speed is actually good. The question is whether I want any of these. It ain't bad. It's three costs though. I think we're gonna skip. Alright, so we got the wool here. Crocomen Mafia. At the North Pier, you meet a gang of well-armed croco men. When you approach one of them, he says, Hello, travelers. As you can see, we run this place. And if you want to use a boat, you'll have to pay us 1,000 gold. We do not accept discounts, but we can make a deal with something of the same value. We have the cheapest boats here, so don't go bother, don't bother going to the South Pier. The boats there are even more expensive. Fighting is not an option. Will you pay for the boat? So leave it, it's too expensive. We don't have a thousand, so we can't pay. Bargain, we can offer them the wool or bet. You dare them to bet a boat in a dice game in exchange for your current weapons if you lose. Holy crap, that's brutal. Ah, well, luckily we have this. They have never seen wool like this before and it's golden color catches their attention. So without thinking twice, they accept the exchange and let you go to the pier to get a boat. Now you can go through the waters of the marsh. Okay. So that just lets us go up, I think, here and over here, maybe? Um, let's... Let's check out this voodoo hut. Trying to chart a course here. We do the voodoo hut. We go to the sales booth. I'm interested in what's there. I think this is the path we'll take, so let's go up. All right, all monsters gain plus two damage, all resistances plus 10%. Every round, add Ash Storm to a random monster. Ash Storm does two Ash and targets deck, which is all heroes, and then deals six damage to all heroes. Oof. Taking six damage every single round is pretty brutal. It is two mosquitoes. I don't think, I don't think I need this. It's okay. We don't need to push ourselves. I kind of just want to make some progress. Uh, let's see what happens though. Let's just go front to back. Uh, rage here. Howl. Probably overkill, don't want to spend 4 mana for that. 
Let's start with the back guy. Does anyone need a heal? I might as well heal, right? Keep him a little topped up. Dead. Okay. I think I'll be able to kill him this round. Just, they have three rounds of so excellent. Um, let's see. Fireball. Ooh. Then I can't attack him because he's in stealth, which is fine. Uh, hide. I think they're both. Yeah, they're both weak to fire, so we'll go with fire weapons, and we will give it to Andrew here since he's slow. He healed off the Oh no! I didn't know they could spawn! Well, that's bad. I don't like that at all. Okay, so I'll need to know to focus Swamp Horrors. Um, that's not good. More mana. I think I'm just gonna try and get as much as I can. Oh, swamp Horror! Good, holy smite. Ooh. You could use that. And then might as well foresight. Uh, let's just do this guy. Okay. Uh five five. Okay, not too bad. Get that last guy dead. Let's get him low. Maybe Magnus will. Oh no! Oh no! He's pulling so many bad guys. Alright, Magnus will be able to finish that. Reginald, what do you have for us? Shiny Force, very good. Three mana though. We could heal instead, and then maybe just. Ah, uh, do I just finish him? He's gonna die at the start of his turn. So I might as well just work through the other ones now. Okay, a little problematic since they're both uh, stealth. I'm gonna just fireball, do some damage to this guy. Nothing else I can do, so save the rest of my mana. Um, yeah, this is pretty brutal. Let's uh, check out... Magnus, I don't think, has much AoE. Let's do Reginald. Holy Ripple's pretty good. I kind of want to keep this. I need more heals. I kind of want to heal Eve and Magnus if I can. <laughs> Barricade will be great here. And So protect you guys. Okay. It's pretty painful. Um Reggie's got after we changed up his cards. So he still has the Holy Ripple, which is great. Two heals and Divine Grace. Uh, I think I'm going to remove the 11. Um, and then just maybe. Only got two. Do I heal? I'll heal her. She's got less health as a total. Alright. So we're in a decent spot here. I think we'll just... I'm gonna tr I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna let Reginald go again. Mm. 
gonna let Reginald go again, since they're both gonna die. <laughs> at the start of their turn, hoping I get... I didn't get a good heal at all. I was hoping for a chain heal or anything, really. Uh, this would affect them, so I don't want to do it. So I'm just going to let Reggie die. Is it satisfying? And then this one should die, and that's it. Alright, what do we get? Piercing Howl. Eh. It costs one, and it just is a slow. That's not great. Sunder Armor. This is pretty good. Two costs. Deals 26 damage. It's a one-time use. Let's take that. Uh, this is pretty brutal. It's four costs, though. Uh, this would help with stealth enemies. Um, four costs. It's very strong, though. He doesn't have many high cost cards, so it might be valuable to have it, but... Uh, uh, yeah, let's go for it, see how it goes. Uh, Eve, deal four, apply. Uh, that's fine. Let's skip this, and then Binding Heal or Spark of Life. Spark of Life is great. Um, so we're gonna go with that. We need a little more healing. I, I remember now we were going deeps. DPS for uh, Reggie, so now I realize why I'm missing so many healing. Um, the ultimate ingredient. You see a woman concentrating on a cauldron. Around her, you can also see many strange gadgets, colorful potions, and animal bones. She sees you and says, I am Maluka, the shop owner. At the moment, I'm very busy finishing an extremely complex potion, but I really am missing the last and most important ingredient. Do you happen to have something that belonged to a powerful demon? Well, I guess not. Okay, so we need something that belongs to a powerful demon. I wonder if that book that we used to summon the imps could have been used here as well. Uh, we can see if there's any interesting potions. Okay, health potion. Gain one mana every two turns. Max HP plus 10. Every turn to spell one. Get That's something. I can't afford that, though. Um... Max HP plus three, hundred percent chance or su success in single character rollups. Okay. Uh, da -da -da voodoo doll. These are pretty good. So another mechanic in this game is that if if a character already has something, so like, um. Evelyn has bandages. If one of these were bandages, I can buy it and it would upgrade it to a higher level bandage. Um, but unfortunately, I don't see anything. None of these are really... I kind of don't want to spend my money on the three that I have the money for. And I don't want to give up any crystals yet. So I'm going to move on. But it's good to know for her, we're going to need some type of demon thing. And maybe the book from that one demon is the, the thing. Ooh, easy. All monsters gain 25 HP. Combat start at a random blob. It's a blob. Hmm. It says easy. So, Andrin will get the Wicked Craftsman card for free. So, discover three small weapons, place one into your hand, cost reduced by two. Each hero will be able to remove one card for the deck for free. So, this is pretty good, especially since I do have that one card from Magnus. So maybe we'll grab that. These guys are pretty tough, though. I'm kind of worried we might... It says easy, but like I don't know that I'll be able to get through these guys. I remember them being particularly difficult. Um, but, hey. The game says easy, which means they believe in me. Right? Alright. So if I recall correctly, this guy heals in the back. I do want to. Wow. I do want to see if I can work through him a bit. Okay, so they do a lot of lightning and water and stuff. Uh, that's not gonna be great. Yikes. Hey. 
Oh, so he's got a blob now. Okay, I see. Oh, ooh, so these guys are immune to shock, which is kind of brutal. Um, fireball's good on everybody, though. We'll see if we can make it through this. Divine Retribution, always good. Heal. Uh, what is he gonna do? Storm Ward. Deal six to a random one. Apply to gain. Oh. Whenever he's damaged, this will happen. That's not great. Yep. <laughs> I want the uh, I want the chain heal. Well, I don't want to attack this back guy because he has the storm ward, which is pretty brutal. So we're gonna transition to this guy. Owl. Ah, this is a back monster. I mean, I can I can armor and then do that. And it'll be better, and it's better for my front guy that people on the end to have this uh, lightning because it'll only affect one character. Um, but no, I don't think we're going to make it through this one, so this is going to be pretty brutal. Yeah. We would need some way to mitigate some of this lightning damage. It's so bad. Um. Evading, they are like immune to lightning. This is a rough one. It's okay. That's okay. This wasn't the run. This was a practice run. Brutal. My memory of these guys stuck with me for like a year or more since I last played this game. This, this is what I remember is just complete absurdity. Um, but no, okay, that's fine. We got 53 new cards. We got a decent chunk of change for our next run, and then we got two perk points each. So let us begin another journey. Uh, so Magnus, we are going to do a blunt run. <laughs> um, what I want to do is probably increase... Probably... Okay, this is just at the start. Okay. I wanted resistance... Uh, for elemental stuff, but it seems like only the other resistances are available at this time, which is fine. Um, okay, I don't have any more perk points, that's fine. So, Andrew, let's see what you've got. We got you in bleed, right? So, let's do. Bleed and slashing damage. Um, and then with her, we'll go lightning. Do we go lightning? Or do we go ice, fire? Maybe we go dark. I do like going dark. There is a character that does dark better, though. So I know it's not her strength. Um... So let's try lightning. Let's just go for it. And then Reginald, my boy, get you some health. Get you some better healing. We can't. We can't yet. So let's um. Can we just get his health up even higher? Do we give him 
extra energy. Extra initial energy can be actually very useful for him. Alright. This is it. So, Andrin is slashing. Magnus is uh, blunt and defense. Oh, Andrin's bleed as well. I need like a notebook here. I need to like write this down somewhere because I'm going to forget. Um, I suppose I could always just reference the character sheets, I think. Let's just see what happens here. Skip the intro. Welcome to town. And we are going to claim all these rewards from our past failures to set us up for some better success here, hopefully. Uh, so first things first, I do want to check out the armory. Um, I think what we'll do is we'll get some... We'll get some speed for Evelyn. Will we? No, let's get healing done for Reginald. Uh, slingshot, pebble throw, deal four damage to a random enemy every every turn. It's pretty fun. Uh, shuffle two poison darts in your deck. Also very fun. Resistances, speed. We might save some of this money because there are going to be better items as we go, and I don't want to overextend ourselves here. Um, Flamey. Six resistance cast Fire Ember. Uh, Fire Ember. I think we do want Flamey, though. I'm going to give him to Evelyn. Just as a matter of course. And then Bunny. Bunny with speed will give to uh, Reginald. The priest and the bunny seems like a good pair. Um, next, what we want to do is we want to craft cards. So, what I want to do, and is there really not a good way? Can I just search a blunt? That wasn't okay. This will work then. Um, so here we're gonna do blunt and armor, right? I think that's the the game. So we've got quite a bit. Nice. So we're still over three thousand. Um, that's pretty good. Is there any other? Fortify is very good. So typically your block value is expired, like it expires at the end of a round. If you have fortify, it keeps it for another round. Which is very strong. Um, so I'll try and look at that too. Okay, there's some good stuff there, but I don't think we want to overextend there. So now here we want bleed. Let's just... We really don't have that many bleed cards. I mean, we have the ruptures, so I guess it's not too bad, but... It could be better. Um, what we could look at too, maybe, if any of these cards upgrade to have bleed. But I'm not sure if there's a quick and easy way to like determine that. Uh, poisonous shot probably doesn't. Multi shot. So multi shot applies one bleed to all monsters. That's that's not terrible. Rapid Fire also does so, and I think I prefer Rapid Fire, so we're going to go with that. Um, toxic Rain? Interesting. Drink. Okay. I think this is pretty good for Andrin. Some bleed, uh, lightning. We're gonna want all of these. Um, anything else sticks out to me? Suffer three lightning, gain two powerful. Nah, that's okay. And then Reginald, my boy, will want healing cards, so. Um, Ray of Hope, Finding Heal, Bulk Heal, okay. 
Slash heal. I have a lot of heals already, so I don't think I want to grab another one. And then healing rain, I think is awesome. Um, okay. So that's a good start. Anything else here? I'm not going to have him do too much damage. I want him to focus on shielding and healing. Um, yeah, I think, uh, I think this is decent. Dispel. Clarity could be good too. Let's... Let's grab that. Um, okay, so we're pretty... Our average energy, energy costs a lot of 1 to 2, or 0 to 2s, with a pretty big emphasis on, like... Eh, it's pretty balanced, I would say. Alright, but what we have to do now is go to the church and start getting rid of cards. Um, okay, so let's look at what we're removing here. Uh, I don't think we need as many defense. Defense are good. Four is overkill. I don't think we want this many fast strikes at all. Um, any? Do I want any? I probably want one. Do I want one? I don't want one. What am I going to do with that? Headbutt, pommel, barricade, guard, rend. Rend I don't think I need. Okay, I think this is pretty good. I can armor up, do some higher cost damaging if I need to, based on the armoring I have. That's fine. Um, deflect is just good because it, it cycles the card, so there's almost no there's no downside to it really. Uh, similarly, expert tracker. I mean, that's just valuable. Gives an extra draw. Hunter's Mark, it prevents stealth and also increases the amount of damage by however many charges, so three charges is pretty good. Three extra damage for one mana is not terrible. I just don't like using it. I don't know what it is. I think I'm going to remove it. Uh, bleed is good. This many slices. Slice cannot be upgraded to have bleed, but it can be upgraded for... I kind of don't like slices. And aim shot's good. Ah, but... Mm. Alright, I might go back and get some more cards for him, because I don't necessarily like aim shot either. Uh, two costs 14 damage. Uh, can we upgrade it? One costs 8 damage is... Not terrible. It doesn't feel good. So we'll come back to that. Um, Alright, so transmission. We're going to get rid of one of the... It's... Pr uh, do we get rid of one of these? So we allow... It's for two mana. We allow another hero to get two mana and one more draw. That's pretty valuable for characters like Andrin or... Ma um, for everyone, honestly. I don't know. I might keep it. Uh, we'll get rid of one of these frost bolts. Two of these frost bolts? Three of these frost bolts. Is that too far? I don't think it is. Elemental ward is pretty good because it allows insulate, which is a pretty good for resistances. Uh, elemental resistances. I don't want this many fire blasts. I think, yeah, I'm at 15 cards, so that's fine. Uh, foresight is useful sometimes. Not for what I'm doing here. Uh, Flash, similarly, I don't think he needs to be... I'll keep one. Similarly, I'll keep one Holy Smite. His cost is so low, which is very good. Um... I think... I think this is good. So what I need to do is see if I can get anything for Andrin. What I could do is a fast divination. And then this would allow me to draft some cards. <sighs> Maybe I do this. Oh wow, it even unlocks cards. That's good. Uh, okay. Okay. Both shield bash and charge are good. 
and charge is in a in eight so it starts combat at the top of the deck meaning i'll get it on round two that's i kind of like that we'll we'll try charge out uh all heroes speed up pretty good set up draw three place two from your hand on top okay similar to that other magnus card we saw um I do like all heroes get one speed. It comes in handy sometimes. I don't think... Rain, all monsters, apply three wet is very good for lightning. And then... Vitality, HP and maximum HP plus five per charge. So that gives them 10 more HP. Interesting. And then one regeneration. For two mana though, I don't. They don't sit well with me. Can we upgrade this to be anything? Okay, five regeneration is more interesting. I might get this. I am getting it. Um, but now what I want to do actually is let's go back to here. Let's check out Andrin one more time. See if we got anything. We could get another deflect. We could get another Deflect. I think I like that. Let's let's see how it sits. Um, and then let's go back to the church. Let's get rid of two of these aim shots. I like that. Um, Evelyn, we got Rain. Reginald, we got Vitalize. And Magnus, we got Charge. Okay. Now, if we come over here and go look at Reginald's Vitalize, if we transmute this, I think I'd be happier with it. Let's try that out. Changing this to a one cost but it heals a little less. I kind of like that, actually. Let's try that. Prayer of Protection, all heroes. Um, just do a little bit more or, okay, nothing wild here. Binding heal, one cost, a little less. Other hero, just a little more, okay. Draw one. Maybe. I'm... I'll see. Hmm. Healing Rain. Interesting. Instead of having a global, I can have it all heroes dispel burn. There are times where I want the monster to also have their thing dispelled, but that's rare. It's interesting. Clarity. So currently, hero anyone. Interesting. Okay, what else, what else do we have here? Let's check out Eve's option. So we can turn that into a three cost, which might be worth it because a four cost is so high. Um, or we remove the burn on the card and essentially just increase the amount of damage it does. That could be useful too. Transmission. Mm, probably not worth it. Increased cost. I mean, she's pretty low cost and she has good mana. Sustainability. It's just hard to know. You gain two mana next turn instead of just one, but it burns. Or it just does more. This this is pretty good actually. Uh, we're almost out of uh, gems or crystals, so I think we'll just save the rest. Okay, so I have some money. What can we do with money? With money we can go to an armory. With money we can do a divination. I think that's pretty much it at this point. Um, I think we're just gonna go forward. I think this, this is the start of a run. Um, now, 
I see an Eldritch Rift here. I'm interested to go through it if I can. So I might... I have to go up if I want to take that Rift. So I might hit this uncommon event, go down, the hatch again. Uh, if I go down to the hatch, I have an opportunity to get that Imp Demon thing, which might be valuable in that next area. Um, but I'll miss out on these if anything goes wrong. Which should be fine. Let's let's see what the rift is. Alright, this is it. We're going in. So Expert Tracker, let's get let's get Eve some good stuff. Shockwave, probably what we want. Uh, ooh. Alternatively. That's a pretty good trio here. Uh, she's gonna have four mana, so if I shockwave, that'll be it. So maybe I keep this and this. Yeah, we'll see. Let's rupture. Let's bleed. Let's slice. Okay. All monsters. Three mana. Shield throw. Yeah, let's just do the damage, right? Oh, nice. Flame, he got him anyway. I don't know if it's worth spending four mana to do that now. Uh, let's see what we got here. This is so I'll buy two. Random monster. I don't really have a choice here. Um, okay. Not bad, and then Reginald doesn't have much in the way of damage, but that's okay. So let's um, let's see how this goes. Armor did its job. Armor did its job, and then it should be a pretty easy just cycle. Magnus. Close that out. Nice. All right. Uh, Blood Rain. That's global. I wonder we can upgrade it to all monsters though, which I think is pretty freaking good. Uh, in in conjunction with Andrin's bleed and Eve's uh, lightning. So we might do that actually. Uh, I shot for three. I'm not interested. Let's do this. We got rid of our mark. Um, this will help us get stealth enemies, and yeah, I don't know, maybe, yeah, let's do it. Ignite, uh, Curse of Agony, no, Flash, Healing Rain, I don't think we need another Healing Rain, so I think we're good there. Go up, Honest Work, in the northern part of Senentia's farmlands, you find a small group of farmers working on rebuilding a house. When you approach, they ask if you could help them a little with rebuilding work. You can clearly see that they won't be able to pay you much or anything at all. Do you want to stay and help them? Um, yeah, sure. You help them rebuild the house. After a while, you decide it's time to leave. They thank you and tell you that you can keep the rope you use to work, but unfortunately they don't have much else. Great, we have rope now. Um, let's go down now. Okay, extreme. Increases the quality and quantity of rewards or a crap ton of resources. Oh, this is gonna be brutal, but I think we might do it. I think we go for the resources, right? Like this is fine, but like if we get to a store or the next town, we're gonna want these resources. I'm gonna let's do it. Let's just see how this goes. I'm you know, maybe this isn't the run. It's quite possible. I I don't believe it, but. <laughs> Uh, yeah, let's see what happens. Alright, so he's got six mana, which is pretty great. That's a healing farmer. I'm gonna see if I can get through this first. Either the first two or just the first one. Uh, oh boy, 30 damage, that's brutal. But I can't. Uh, no, I can't kill him. 
So maybe I just do this. And this. And Eve should be able to get through 18. Oh, pretty easily. Oh. Alright, let's zap to this random. Okay, that did what it needed to do. And then this grants two and an extra draw. Let's do that. I wonder if it'll... I think it will do it for his first turn. He doesn't have any damage to though. That's the... I probably should have given him some damage in spells, but hey, it's okay. Uh, what we will do, though... Barrier up. Grant one extra card draw to our boy. And enter. That's okay. Two both the two round two rounds is excellent, so we're still both fine. Uh oh rapid fire, I think we wanted to upgrade and we never did. That's uh definitely an oversight. Magnus should be able to just knock on it. All right, what do we have here? Ooh, Mame is great. Front monster only, though. Ground slam. Can we upgrade this to be monster? That's pretty good. Less damage, a little less uh, negative effects, but I kind of like Mame. Um, rupture. We have quite a few ruptures. I don't think we need them. Hero, look four cards. Discard any of them. Weird. Let's skip these. Um, skip these. Binding heal. Pretty good. Draw three cards. Place one from your hand on top of your deck. That's pretty good. You can guarantee, almost guarantee something for the next round. Um, but binding heal is also very good. I think I'll do binding heal. All right, let's check out this hatch. Let's uh, try to open it in a safer way. I don't want to risk breaking legs. If it happens, it happens. Okay, so we did it. We're back in here. Silly gatekeepers. So here we have the two dumb guys who are guarding it. Interesting. So the rope can be used here. Make a noise to distract two of them and use the old rope to tie the one sleeping. Sure. You tie the half-asleep pigman and move them aside while the other two are distracted. When they turn to the door, it's too late and you're already on them. Okay. So we just reduce this combat encounter to two enemies instead of one. Uh, or instead of three. That's great. Uh, let's... let's... Let's keep punch. Get rid of that. We don't want this. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's just rupture. And rupture. Man, so many moves. 29 damage is phenomenal. I can kill him. I can kill him. I should kill him, but for three minutes. What is this? 20 damage and 70. That's 27. Alright, let's just do that then. And then maybe Eve will have enough to do 56 damage. That seems not likely, but no, we didn't get a great pull either. Um, and Reggie, we know, has some damaging capabilities. Uh, no one's hurt. Who wants an extra card? Let's just give it to Andrew. Alright. So unfortunately, we didn't kill him, so we do get only great rewards. Um, this should be pretty straightforward here. Magnus will close it out. That's it. Um, Sunder Armor. This, this is a bit too much here. This is pretty good as far as defense goes. Uh, Sawtooth is pretty good too. Lightning Zap, sure, it's free. Let's, uh, let's discard, or not discard, skip. Uh, oh, Captured Pigman. Interesting. Let's go, last time we went up to this altar. This time let's go down. 
see what the other common event is. All monsters gain 15 HP, and then they also have a ton of things. I've never even seen Zeal. All resistance is plus 7 per charge. Every round they get this. Wow. Uh, healing received from Sanctify, plus 20% per charge. Damage done, plus 1% per burn charge. Remove all charges at end of turn. Um, okay, what can we get? Exotic equipment shop with a 30 per That's actually very good. Um, I think I might do this. It's going to be a little sweaty, but it is only three, and I'm feeling pretty good. That's a lot of benefits, though, so we'll see how it goes. I'm a little spooked. Jeez. All right, we have to be at the top of our game here. Um, I remember the evoker was a problem because they essentially can spawn another, like an imp. So we want to try and get through her as much as possible. Or as quick as possible, I should say. Hey. And these guys are no joke. They they hurt. They do a lot of fire stuff. So we'll see how it goes. A lot of uh, uh nice evade got burned there for her. Oh, I do this. Uh, yeah, let's give him more options next turn. And then Reginald, my boy, um, big heal because of the draw. It's based on draw pile, and his draw pile is fresh, so that's pretty good. And then let's just do some deeps and armoring. All right, so she's got 13 armor, unfortunately. Um, let's see what we can do. So we don't want that, obviously. Probably not that. And we'll see if we can get away from these front monster moves. Um, five mana. We could get through all of her armor. And then maybe hope this hits her? It wouldn't kill her, but it would do pretty good. Okay. Let's see what we got. Magnus, enrage, slow them down, and then a lot of front monster and armor stuff. So what we're gonna do is, we have five mana, so we'll steel skin and guard, and now this 35 mana, or armor plus 10 will last until next turn. Um, do I even want to spend one mana to damage this guy? I don't think so. I might hold. Man, they're healing her big time. Alright, pretty brutal. I could use that lightning wave right now, or whatever, the circle lightning. Didn't pop up for me this time. I think I might transmission myself. Let's get some lightning on this guy because he's... Uh, He's going to be damaging each of them as the lightning hits. If I can sustain my team with heals, I think we'll be okay. Grant two courage. Let's, uh... Let's give clarity here. I think we're okay. I don't want to spend too much mana on him. Man, I might have bit off more than I can chew here. Maybe we just... I don't know. I don't have enough direct target moves uh, across my team, so it's hard to get through her. So I might just go front to back. And that might help focus the damage. Um. Alright, we'll 
do what happens. Yeah. He's got 55 armor in front, so hopefully he takes the brunt of it. 55 down to 13, that's pretty brutal. Damn. So he's got four mana. Let's give protection to everybody, and then let's give a little extra from him. Uh, let's get through some of that. Alright, Eve, what do you got? Six mana is nothing to sniff at. Holy smoke. Alright, so we have a Shock Nova. I think we're going to do that up front. We have this mana gem, which will help us a lot. Let's just keep stacking up the lightning on this guy. Every round he's doing 13 damage to his sides. Which is pretty good. Uh, detection... I think is fair. Let's just kill this front guy. If we force her to burn a card on summoning an ant each round, that's also not too bad. Uh, global, that's fine. Barricade, shield charge. He's got three mana. I could just kill him. Discard that, barricade everybody else. Go around. Alright, she's got six mana again. Not as impressive, but that's okay. He's up to 17 charges, that's really good. Now it might make sense to start whittling her down because she's going to start getting hit for 17 each time. Well, 17, 16. Uh, funnily enough, I kind of want to keep them alive so they're getting pinged for that much damage each time. One more healing. I'd rather just pop both of them up a little bit. Some armor. Just to see if these last two guys get any funny ideas. Okay. Wow, this round is uh, not going to be good for rewards, but that's okay. We uh, we have our eyes on a different prize. Alright, so let's start accumulating some bleed on her, along with the lightning stacks going against her. That will mitigate some of the healing she's getting every turn. Uh, all these are front monster, unfortunately. So we're gonna have to do this and slow him down. Okay. We're doing okay. Move 10 burning is pretty good. Let's just do that and protect our guys. I expect an imp to come here. No, fireball! Oh! That was a big one. We're okay though. Uh, charge battery. Again, I think we just start stacking this up on him again. Get it as high as we can. Uh, 26 is pretty good. 26 is half the health of the Evoker. So it's going to start having paying dividends, I believe, any moment here. We start stacking this bleed too. Um, don't have many options here. I might. Do I save it? Let's, uh, let's just ping her with the aim shot. We kept the one for a reason, right? Here, shield throw. I only have one armor left, so that's not going to be too good. I could defend. This would rem it would remove all the charges though, so I kind of don't want to do that. I might just guard and then punch. And defend. Since we have the fortification. Fortify all right, she's down to 21. 26. So I think. Eve might be able to kill her directly this round if we get decent pulls. Uh, and once she's dead, the imps will stop spawning and then we can start working our way through. So uh, She's got 8 mana. It's a good start. That's a lot of charge batteries. So, I mean... 
Do I just do this? Ooh, how does the turn order go? I think we're good. I think we're good. This is gonna do so much damage. Um, so what I want to do now is just... Keep our people up a little bit. Alright. So deflect. Um, I'm going to secure this. I think that'll do it for sure. I'm afraid that they have some healing or something, or some armoring. Like he might armor the lowest HP. Oh no, Magnus! Damn, I should have probably healed him. I, he had quite a bit of health, so I thought he was okay, but obviously not. I think we're okay. We're still good. Magnus is gone, but we still have a decent group here. And I, we can now start working through these guys a little bit better. Random monster, random monster. Not much thinking involved there. I think we'll uh, get rid of this end. And then armor up. And then hopefully here we have some good stuff going on. Okay, Eve's getting beat up. We do need Eve. So this might be brutal for us. We'll see how it goes. Okay. She's got 10 mana, literally full mana. Uh, we could probably afford to uh, give her more higher cost cards because she's just not able to spend mana quick enough. That's great. Barrier again. Alright, so Metal Guy should die this round. Should die this round. Alright. Uh... It's down to 3 HP with 8 bleed and 1 fire. I he does have 12. They, they're healing for more as they issue each round. Oh, and their max HP is going up. Oh my god. Oh no, don't tell me. This is the beginning of the end. Okay, he's dead. Oh no. Alright, Reginald Eve. Can you do it? Uh, we might not have this. The 19 burn might have put us over the edge here. Um. That's quite a bit of bleed. I flew too close to the sun. So close! Unbelievable. I didn't really think about the effects of this stacking every single round. That's pretty wild. And poor Reginald, my boy, is not going to be able to do much here other than stall the inevitable, really. Um... Yeah, I think I just end this because there's absolutely no way he's getting through this much deeps. And these lightnings mean almost nothing for... For actually doing damage, so... Yep. Resign. Unbelievable. I had such high hopes... Oh, resign. Yep. Oh, I keep clicking. Uh, I had such high hopes! Such high hopes for that run, and we didn't make it. Unbelievable. But that's just sometimes how it is, you know? You, you plan, you prepare, you execute, and it just doesn't go your way. Uh, I guess next time when the obelisk spins its influence, I might take it a little more seriously. I did think I had that under control, but the stacking nature of those buffs really ended up causing that to be way more problematic as it went on. Um, so yeah, I mean, 
next time, adventure mode, we will start again and go through the perks, get our guys back in the field for episode four of Rogue Once across the obelisk. But for now, thank you for joining me. Sorry we didn't do better, but hey, uh, this is kind of the whole motif of this game, this genre, is to die and try again. So here we are dying and trying again. Just trying again and trying again. Maybe by episode 20, I'll, uh, <laughs> I'll, be, I'll be in a pickle mentally. But uh, right now, this is just the name of the game. So, thanks. See you next time. Be good.